Scripture says in 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 58, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in the moment of the of an eye. At the last trumpet, the trumpet shall sound, sound, and the dead in Christ shall raise in corrupt. We shall be changed. For this corrupt must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when corruption shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the same that is written death, Swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. We're going to start the unveiling um, ceremony for. Mother Evelina Boards, and uh, we join as a family at the temporary resting place of our dear relative mother, grandmother, and mother in law, Evelina R. Sissy Boards. Though time has passed since Sissy was taken from our midst, we still remember the important role that Sissy played in our lives. In gratitude for the many blessings that Sissy's life brought. And recognizing that Sissy's memory and spirit will still resonate within us. We, dedica we dedicate this tablet, this headstone, marking uh, of the boards by Mother, temporary earthly resting place. And now, Psalms 23. And we can quote that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures, he leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He guided me the straight path for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. In recognition of all that Mother Evelyn of Sister Boards meant to us when she was alive, and the precious memories that we treasure, we dedicate this headstone in memory as a symbol of our love and respect and honor of her life and for her legacy. In Jesus' name. One more scripture, and then found in Psalms 121. <clears throat> I will lift up my eyes unto the mountains, unto the hills, which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel, neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day for the moon by night. The Lord shall keep thee from all evil. He shall keep thy soul. The Lord shall guard thy going out and thy coming in this time and forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. So this concludes our services of dedicating this headstone to our beloved mother, grandmother, and mother-in-law.
for this time we're going to unveil, uncover that stone that's been dedicated to honor the Lord and uh, is to serve this generation, generations to come, and the world of life and legacy. Sure, this sure people see the future of the great, 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 great grandmother. She lived and she was graced to have time here on this earth for 18 years. And so the story hopefully told down through the years and all the memories that we shared with her that we can pass those down to generations to come. And she's able to think of different things about her. Sometimes you laugh, sometimes you cry, sometimes you wonder where is she. And you have all kinds of things and hopes and thoughts about you said the absence of the body. This time, I want to grab each corner.